Hello everyone, myself Abhishek and today I am going to show you that how you can configure your key site software. Um, so for that, uh, first you need to go to the installation directory of key site, which is the your Windows installation directory. Then after that, your key site software installation directory then we have uh, the IC cap software so today we are going to configure the IC cap so that we can use the different simulators uh, in IC cap platform so for that go inside the installation directory of IC cap uh, then we have the option of um, the IC cap here and then we need to go to the leap and after that we need to go to the user simulators so here uh, for this particular purpose to open this file usually I suggest you to uh, download notepad plus plus for like better editing uh, of the files so just click on this one and just open this file so here as you can see that initially uh, uh, you will be having a spice mentioned here and we have the software name uh, application name and the path of it so initially by default it will show this path so either you need to move your application to this path or what you can do is you can add your application which you have installed you can mention the path of the spice.exe by creating another uh, line mentioning spice then space spice then space path of the spice.exe right and inverted commas inverted commas closed and like this you can mention it here so i'll be sharing with you this particular file so that uh, you can also use this one and uh, you can use it as a reference so you can add the different simulators uh, and by mentioning the path of their application.exe here i have also i was also having the smart spice so i have just mentioned the smart spice path here so that i can use it during my simulations Similarly for ADS also you can do the same thing for ADS you can directly search here uh, as ADS and then you can directly go for the path so this is the ADS simulator name right and we have the path of it so this also you can update uh, based upon the installation directory of uh, ADS so once you you have done with this one uh, then automatically it will just look for this path and update it accordingly right now the next thing which we need to do is to just save this file or you can save or save as in a particular directory right and close it next thing we need to do is to update the environmental variables sometimes we are not able to when uh, update the environmental variables in that case we can use this ic cap file which is cap.bat file uh, to update the environmental variables forcefully 
right so that it automatically it will update all the environmental variable settings uh, based upon the information given inside it so just open this file so you need to open this file with not that plus plus as you can see so here we have you need to first provide the your version name that I am using 2020 version and uh, we have uh, the installation directory of key site that you need to mention here ADS version you need to mention here so um, in the path you can mention it as uh, 2020 ADS 2020 and you need to update it here as not disabled or disabled right so um, I mean this, this is for like uh, disabling and enabling the ADS path and uh, you need to mention the version name here and you need to provide uh, the version name uh, I mean here as well in the system uh, path and uh, the directory in which uh, it is installed so it is installed in the different directory you can update this uh, on the basis of the installation directory path and you also need to set your home settings because all the files will be saved in this location as a default so accordingly you need to specify it uh, here are the settings of the ADS directory path and uh, you can specify your license and uh, you can specify the path of the ADS here as well so once you are done with this then we also need to search the HSPICE because we need to update the settings of the HSPICE so we have a separate um, area for the HSPICE and uh, we have the installation directory which is mentioned previously and obviously we need to specify the license because it need to get the license from this particular path this also you can specify in uh, the uh, environmental variables which directly you can search from here edit environmental variables so here also you can specify like this which i have specified and the only thing which is different from here is that forcefully through this uh, bad file we can update all these things is there right uh, the other things are pretty much um, like will be similar for all because the default directories are almost similar uh, just the installation directory which uh, which if you change then in that case you need to update the path in this file accordingly and uh, after doing that you can save it and you can run as an administrator and here you go maybe uh, so you can you can write us in the comment box if you have any doubt uh, related to this one and uh, for sure like i'll be sharing the files with you which we have discussed today right and thank you so much for watching this video yeah